Okay, so uh, uh, today uh, we will uh, learn a uh, few things like uh, the custom font icon, how to create that font icon things. Mm, we can create uh, from our own image. We can uh, transfer them, uh, convert them into the font icon and use them in our applications. So we will learn that first. Then uh, how to use that font icon in our application, uh, how to add and uh, how to add an icon to that library that will also uh, we will learn today. Then uh, a tooltip, how to create a CSS tooltip and a few more things in HTML uh, component. So those things are in uh, today's uh, session. So let's start. I am sharing my screen. So is it available? Is my screen visible at your end? Uh, yes. OK. So, so to create the custom icon uh, as you want uh, in your application, you first need to uh, choose few uh, SVG file, you know the SVG that is uh, extension, the full form of SVG is Clayville Vector Graphics. The, the difference between PNG and SVG is PNG or other any other formats will uh, restart if I increase that size. But SVG as SVG uh, background of SVG, there are some code. So if I if I uh, zoom that or increase that uh, size of that uh, image, it will never distort on the browser. So that is the main advantage of using the SVG instead of JPG. Uh, SVG have other advantage too. We can uh, play with uh, uh, SVG. Uh, inside SVG, we can create graphs and other things. We can create animation in SVG. So those are different things. But today, our subject is how to create that uh, custom font uh, icon, basically, for our application. So earlier, we, will, we used uh, uh, jpg or png image for our uh, for our application but that will create uh, uh, the file size make that file size heavy and take much time to load on the browser to to decrease that loading time uh, and uh, so we use today uh, today nowadays uh, the custom font icon so so to create the custom font icon first we have to go to uh, icomoon so go to the i'll share the link with everyone so this is the this is an uh, online application the icomoon from here you can generate the the icons okay font icons so it has some inbuilt library you can use them or you can add your own you can create your own library from here okay so uh, so to create your own library, first you have to uh, import icons, okay, from your own uh, uh, desktop. Okay, so first I am using uh, show you that uh, these uh, icons are already here, so I have added uh, on for my application. So I will create first these icons uh, to the convert them to the uh, font icon. Then I will uh, show you how to add another icon on that. So to with this uh, um, this icon and click on that icon uh, you can select uh, all or deselect all you can do that okay you can individually select if you need uh, individual icons so for your uh, project you need this one or this one or this one this one this one this one all all of them you not don't need so you can select on them whatever you require for your application you can create that library or you can add on that library so for now i am creating i'm selecting all to select of option i'm selecting all okay you can you can create the svg from here individually and use them on your application uh, 
so this count will show how much how many item uh, icons are added to your library that selection of 491 so 491 icons are already there so i select all of them okay now uh, now click on the generate font okay so on clicking on the generate font so see uh, this uh, page will create okay so here you can check the individual icons this is a preview page okay. now just download the entire set of thing so i have downloaded the icon zip the file has been generated okay so let's go to the home page again Uh, you can select all okay so now i'm going to my uh, it is downloaded on the inside the download folder okay so i come on zip let's delete all this so this is my icons icon uh, folder okay so let's extract that so here we have uh, all the files required for the icons so if you click on check the demo file So the same file will as downloaded on on that folder. So you can use for your further reference. So which files are required for you now? So I need this file, that CSS file you need. Okay. So this has all the code. Okay. It has all the code for the icons and you need this set of fonts so these are the four fonts file that need so remember when we when i saw you uh, explain you the custom font so on that uh, package these four kind of uh, files are are uh, generated so these are four files which we need uh, for the render any uh, font on our applications uh, as well as in uh, uh, windows and mac and linux as well so these four, four files are required to generate create that font on your uh, browser so i need this file and the font files these are the uh, uh, that uh, the package including the package for the uh, demo files are here the demo css and all these are here so i need only this font and style so let's copy these two and uh, so here so now uh, i'm changing that I do rename the file to icons and uh, icon and the fonts. So, and I keep that inside a folder. So inside that uh, inside that folder icons folder, I have kept the fonts and only the icons. So now so, 
so you have to add the css here okay so refresh it so icons are here we need to add that it is a css file so copy that and it is change the path it's icons and icons see here the the same as the font face uh, custom font face those uh, inside that font face those uh, full four file formats are added okay to render the and the required uh, styles are here which is this uh, which is required for the font icon mm. now so now let's use the font here uh, inside a button button okay so button and primary is here Let's add the icon here. Okay. So how you choose your, your icon? So you don't have the name of the icon. No? So for that, you can refer to this the demo sheet. Okay. Just open that demo sheet. You will get all the class name just beside of the icon. Use those uh, class name for your icons. So whatever just I need. Uh, this icon so copy that name and icon set phone so now let's refresh the page okay so see the primary button is here and i have added up icon a phone icon to that button here so this way you can use a custom font icon in your application i show you how you generate that custom font icon okay. so you can you whatever icon you need you just copy need to copy that class uh, see or icon folder passing it for that button you need a and click up the button a folder will add so just you need to add that on the icon so you can add icon everywhere uh, on buttons on icons uh, you can you can just use this code for the icon so now uh Now let's add a add your own icon on this uh, library. Okay, so I am deselecting uh, selector. Okay. So I am creating now a, a new icon library. So for that, I just show you with a couple of uh, image uh, how you can add them. So for that, you can I can use the just. Mm 
which one is free, free, purchase, 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 purchase. So let's add, download some SVG. Mm -hmm. Save. Okay. Free SVGs are not available. I can. Let's use all of them. So we'll import those uh, SVGs and create our own library. So in the meantime, when it's loading, you can use this import to set. Uh, you have uh, already created a set of icons, and you need to uh, now the designer has. Uh, added few uh, more icons. So how you can add the, that on your library? Just import. Uh, just click on this import to set your icon, and uh, add uh, add the uh, new icons uh, to your library. So it's in download. It's icon SVG. See, I am adding open. Okay, re-import. So see uh, now. Uh, I have all these set of icons, the old version. Okay, so I need to add this one. So I have import this, uh, the new SVG file. So import to set. It will include that on that set and selecting on that and just uh, generate the font mm. and replace this that replace the two file that uh, the CSS files and the font folder, font files, four font files. Just replace that on your uh, on your folder, and you will use that icon, the new icons too. So with the same thing, that untitled project, this one, load, loading. Now I am import icons. OK, so I am now importing few icons, just two. The same thing. Uh, now go to select all okay, and generate font. So now the Whatever the file has been generated, those are only this uh, icon set of icons. So if you have this SVG file, you can create your own set, own uh, icon set. Okay, you don't need to use that uh, icon set of uh, set of icons. And you can the good thing is you can change the color of the icon. Okay, you can do anything with that icon just change that color so i'm what show you on that uh -huh.
as it is a as a it is a font so you can apply all of your font property to this you can uh, you can uh, change the color you can font size 30 pixels so see this so you, it is a rendering as a font now so you can change anything and apply any font property you can even you can apply the animation property uh, to the to the font you can rotate transform this kind of thing you can do on the uh, on that uh, icon so it is very useful thing so to create your own uh, icon library and use them uh, on your uh, application just you need to that svg or png files from the designer and you can create your own set of icons use use that it has a uh, uh, it, it is very flexible you can change color size all you can do that mm -hmm. so this is the font thing uh, anyone has any question related to the custom font No question. Okay. <sighs> okay. So now let's move to the next part. Uh, so using that font, uh, I will create a, a search box now. So here. I'm just basic, adding basic style to the uh, search box, to the search. So I have added that uh, on the I search, right? So how it looks like now. Let's remove that comment from now. So here is the search box. I have uh, created the search field. And inside that, I have kept a input. And so search, how I can write that search. Right. Inside that, we have input. Okay. Attribute selector. Text. Now, with the percent and give the border none. Okay, so it has uh, 
bootstrapping. <laughs> Search input, uh, let's say, uh, search box. So it has the bootstrap in, included in it. So it is overwriting it. We're in the different file. Okay. <laughs> the watch was not running. So now uh, I have to of that focus and hover numbers mm -hmm. and hover. That outline and the border uh, is now uh, disappear because uh, we have added that uh, focus property. That focus and over and focus property we have uh, nullify that with outline and border none. So it is not there now. We we will add a uh, let's add a search search button. Okay, so. And now let's add our search button. Button and class. Icon hyphen. I hope this class will be same. Yes. Yes. That's there. And what we need to add on the search box, we have to add. Uh, we add position relative, right? Okay, fine. Then search. Oh, we can add. Can add search and then again. Button. None, border none. Cursor is a property that is a pointer. Search box, positionality. Anything else? Uh, let's add a padding. Padding. Okay. 
over focus. I selected the color. Let's put it's at okay. So need some color. Yes, and added the and as I add position here, absolute here, so I have to. Is that top right value right? I say zero and top is five weeks. In it later, no watches once. Now, see the changes. Okay, so just need to reposition from right, it will be. Six and top two. This means that right is six, top is two. See, the hover is also working. So now, right on the and I just press tab. So I write here and press tab. So focus shifted to the search icon and it's changed as I applied that uh, focus uh, property on it and enter in search will work. So I just created a, a component, search component here uh, with the help of uh, CSS. So use an example and I write all, use all this property. So so you can understand how we create that or oh, you can we, you can we can do that uh, on uh, with use of uh, before after tag to the search icon okay so instead of uh, instead of creating that but uh, putting that icon on that button so i kept that i can keep that uh, icon on the background mm, as you, with use of before and after Okay, so we can do that too. So, okay, so now going to the next, uh, we will create a tooltip. So, Remove that entire thing. Now we will create a tooltip here. Okay. How you can create a tooltip? So let's see. A H F. You know, you all know what is tooltip now. So on hover of uh, hover over a certain link or certain thing, some information are displaying uh, on that uh, 
so that is to tip it, it will help on the uh, browser uh, to understand that uh, that functionality or that button uh, the uh, why it is there what is the uh, action of that uh, on click on that button what is the action so it will help that help tooltip and other things so on two step you you have a tooltip uh, you can use that tooltip on your uh, application but uh, today we will create our own custom tooltip so i'll show you how to create a custom tooltip This is uh, let's I think class and inside that button and in for the to deep content. Class. So wherever I need the tooltip, I just add that class <laughs> tooltip and uh, this tip inside that outer container, parent container, tooltip content. Inside that contain, I will write my tooltip content, whatever it is. To add this uh, content. So if I now Okay, so <laughs> again, it is conflicting with that post. Okay. So, um, class. Let's look that post. So tooltip has default class tooltip. That's why it's conflicting with that. So I move that to a full step style. So tooltip button and tooltip content is here now. So on this tooltip, Position relative and inside that just uh, content to deep content position absolute. Uh, background uh, RGBA. I will. Uh, uh, I'm adding some alpha to it. See the from up point eight with eighty percent with black. In some setting to XPX and MPX uh, max B. Let's see, two hundred. Yeah. 
okay and color of font size so let's use the font size 12 I have that mixing now. Good. We can use that color variable too. So that is, as I remember, the lightest. Um. <laughs> So I have added that on the content and it's what is not there. Okay, beautiful now in the general file include. Border radius, small. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I'm adding uh, before. I'm adding uh, that before thing uh, with the tooltip content, and it is so um, again, it is position absolute from left, it will be 50%, and from Top, it will be minus will depend eh? so for now I will minus 10 pixels and I'm adding I'm adding uh, the border color okay. so the border color is is the same one And uh, border width is equal to x four px six Okay, so okay, so why it is not working? Because when you, whenever you have uh, used the before or after, no, you have to mention that uh, content. You have to add the content. It is a must. It is a mandatory for the uh, whenever you use before and after. Other than if you do, if you don't use uh, content inside before and after. Uh, it will not work. That that will not display on your uh, on your browser. So now it's before is available. Where is that before? Okay, before is uh, uh, top ten pixel. Just now. Okay. So before is now there minus ten pistol is working fine.
Arrow is created properly. Mm -hmm. Let's put it on after. It's working properly, but oh. Okay. Now I have created that tooltip. The entire thing now it's available now it's showing uh, all the time but uh, we need to show that uh, the div only when we hover over the tooltip button right so to do that just we need to change few things so at first the tooltip content will be uh, display none i've created all the style uh, and now i'm disappearing that Display none, and uh, when we over over it, over that tooltip, or that tooltip, then that tooltip content dot tooltip underscore int. The so content will display block. So now the uh, tooltip button is not available. So when we hover over that uh, tooltip uh, button or thing, so tooltip content will available. So this way we can create the tooltip. We can position the tooltip option to anywhere at top, bottom, with another class. Okay. So if you if I add uh, tooltip cut and content uh, to the top, or I position it to the, um, it is a position absolute. Let's change uh, top minus twenty px. Okay. So now it's come. Change. Uh, you can uh, change that position. You can change uh, top is zero, and from right, right, you can add minus. it will now coming on the right side so just with just this uh, two style you can create different different uh, uh, classes uh, like this is tooltip content inside that just write ampersand dot left and define the property for the left the right r i g is right and at the just top right uh, sorry top zero and right minus 200 x and add this class to Tip along with that to tip contains just right. See the tooltip is coming on the right now. So you can create four classes: top for top, left, right, and bottom. And you can position any tooltip anywhere. 
on that uh, on your uh, page. So that after is not right. So in the inside the after, I have created a triangle. So the a triangle arrow is not showing. We can create a tooltip. Uh, I have created a tooltip for using the div and content this way. But you can create the tooltip uh, on the with uh, attribute property. That is tooltip. Okay. Uh, inside that, you can write the entire content. Then you don't need to do like this. So here we have class tooltip, and uh, I have selected the tooltip attribute and put the content inside the tooltip. Okay. For that, you have to select uh, the tooltip property uh, that. Tooltip property, so tooltip like this. You have to select the attribute tooltip, not not class, just tooltip attribute, and whatever you have uh, we have done here, just put inside that tooltip, and with before and after you can add that uh, content so for the content we have to write like this uh, uh it is the tooltip so just put the tooltip things uh, here ah, tooltip colon before and in inside that after you can use that uh, just in content blank on the before property where you have you, you need to add that these things and the after instead of this tooltip content okay instead of tooltip content now what what do we write on the tooltip content the entire thing okay so put it on the after and one more thing we need to do for the content in the content itself you have to write uh, content the content is equal a t t r tribute what attribute you select we had added t dollar l so Just before, uh, just the earlier one, we have selected tooltip. This tooltip before is for the uh, for the the arrow, and the and the tooltip after inside the tooltip after content we have rendered the we have called that uh, attribute tooltip. So whatever whatever uh, whatever content we have inside the tooltip attribute that that will display there. So we need to uh, the display block and display. 
that property we need to change. So this way you can use any any you you can use this uh, thing uh, content and attribute uh, of the tooltip to show the property. I show the text. So this in this two way you can create uh, the tooltips only using CSS. Mm. So there is no JavaScript, nothing is there. So pure CSS is there using these two uh, uh, type of thing. You can create your own tooltips. Okay. So, uh, so these are two things uh, for today's session. Okay. Uh, I will upload upload this whole thing uh, on the drive. You can go through them whenever you get time. Okay, so on Monday, uh, I will show you some real life, uh, uh, real life scenario where we stuck. Uh, and you, I told you to come up with uh, your problem. So we we try to solve them uh, on that session on Monday, which is our last day. So and if you have anything uh, from the CSS and SAS uh, throughout this last uh, ten days, any question, thing, in, required anything related to anything uh what we learn on uh, for last day so we can uh, resolve them as well we can recap them uh i can uh i can uh, explain you explain you uh, those things uh, again uh so those the last day the mind session will be basically a recap session and a q a session okay any question No. Okay. So yeah. Thanks. Okay, then so we can uh, conclude today's call today's session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.